on it for months. What do you think? It's something to look at. Dwayne, Dwayne Rice. Yes, of course. Mi casa es su casa. No, qué bueno. Realmente me encanta. I, I don't speak Spanish. Are you sure? It's an expression. A Spanish expression. Yeah, man, I'm Jewish. Are there a lot of Spanish in Judea? <laughs> so where are you from? Here and there. Any family? No. <sighs> what do you do? For a living? Oh, I'm sorry, I was collecting my thoughts. I'm an actor. Oh. You're an actor. My girlfriend was an actress. Yeah, more like she tried. I didn't have the stones to tell her, uh, you know, she was years past her prime. Every other weekend, it was some awful play or some Kickstarter party. Uh, the last straw was when I had to drive upstate three hours in the snow to see some stupid movie she helped produce. It was an hour and a half of this pretentious guy sitting in a chair, staring into a camera, not moving an inch. Or blinking once, slitting wrists came to mind. You sure you just weren't looking at a picture of a man sitting in a chair? Do you smoke? No, sir. Do you drink? My body is my livelihood. Do you have any ID? I did have ID, but I lost it in a bear fight. But it's okay. We ate some wolf afterwards. So what, you came to New York City to become a big shot or something? I'm gonna be the greatest actor of this generation. Okay. So until then, uh, how are you gonna make the rent? I can hold my own. Do you have any records? I don't sing. Any criminal records? Never been caught. Well, you seem like a straight shooter. Do you have the security deposit? Yes, I do. Coins? Why coins? It's all there. Counting for it.
I shit my pants every day. I can't walk, I can't hug. Just go ahead and kill me, you cocksucker! Um... Mr. Kerr, what the fuck was that? My monologue. That was your fucking monologue? <laughs> that was the worst Vigo Mortensen impersonation I've ever seen. If Vigo saw that, he would just fucking kill himself and then turn over in his grave. Mr. Kerr, acting is not impersonating another person's work. Isn't that exactly what acting is? I teach people to find themselves, okay? I teach them to find themselves in the work, to share with an audience who they really are, to really dig down deep and share all their shit. Do you understand that? Uh... Huh? Mr. Kerr, I asked you what the fuck you were thinking and all you can say is, ah? Uh? You know that ah uh, is something you would say to a baby, right? You would say ah uh, to a baby. Have a little conversation with a baby. You'd say ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, now you're smiling, which is weird. Why the fuck are you smiling? Acting is revealing your soul. It's showing us how bold you are, working through the blocks and showing us your fucking balls. I've got balls. Oh, yes, apparently you have two more than me. Do you want to be revered? Do you want to be respected? Do you want to work to be a fully-fledged actor? A wizard of the words, a slayer of the slang? Is that what you want? You want to be a great fucking actor? I want to be the greatest. Say it louder. I want to be the greatest! Let it ring in these great halls. I want to be the greatest! Nope, 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 stop. Don't do that. You don't bow until you've earned it. What I would like you to do is go into the bathroom, and I would like you to slap the living fuck out of yourself, and I want you to keep hitting yourself as hard as you can until you pass out. And then, when you regain consciousness, I would like you to find a play. Find a piece of writing that inspires you, and I would like you to bring it to class next week because that is theater. looking like a refugee. It's my picture. Wait. <laughs> You're an actor? Yeah. Have I seen you in anything? No. <laughs> Never mind. I just, I really thought you were the guy I was supposed to go out with. You're supposed to go out with somebody at the library? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a public place. I, I thought it'd be cute, like, rom-com kind of thing. Actually majored in English in college. Could you 
give me some pointers. Um, what is this word? Tis. Um, I believe it's it's. No, tis. Tis it's. Like it's true. Well, what about twas? <laughs> twas is it was. No, with T. Yeah, was. it means it was. But, um... Could you give me some more pointers? Sure. I mean, like, really starving right now, though. <clears throat> you want food? Yeah, usually, like, you're supposed you to... You want to go and get something to eat? Sure. What do you want to eat? I don't care. Okay. What should I know about Hamlet? Well, Shakespeare was the greatest writer of all time. Arguably, greatest British writer of all time. What do you want to eat? Anything. Thai? Mm, no. Indian? Oh, I love Indian, but I've had it twice this week. Chinese? Uh, no. They cook dog. Nope. Well, what the hell do you want to eat? Anything. I told you, I don't care. What was your name again? It's pronounced Nastaya. What is that, Asian? Romanian. Oh, I love Rome. I plan on dreaming of going there one day. No, never mind. K-E-H-R. I don't think I ever not found someone's entire story online before. No Facebook, no Twitter, no Instagram, no Maps.com. No Wikipedia, no MySpace, no nothing. Hold on a second, I gotta pee. Especially after all the drama with my ex, oh my god. <laughs> he broke up with me online. Like, who does that? He posted a picture of him and his new girlfriend with the caption, off to bigger and better things. Like, really? Like, how old are you? You know what I mean? So I got back at him. <laughs> I hacked his account, and I posted a picture of his tiny penis. Hashtag throwback Thursday. Hashtag karma's a bitch. <laughs> And he blogged about how I'm crazy and insecure and jealous and whatever and totally left out the fact that he cried like a baby at the notebook and ate my ass like it's the last supper. Here it is. How much did you pay for those headshots? Daddy pulled some strings, but I think it was like 1500 Who took that? QT. He's like so hot right now. Passport photo? Yeah. Not only can I book work, I can travel. Yeah, good luck with that. No, like, QT has, like, half a million followers, and he posted that picture of me to Instagram, and it got, like, 100,000 likes. What is that? Hmm? Likes. What are likes? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's like the thing online. You know, you post something and then your friends and your followers like it. What do likes do? What do they do? They get you more followers. And followers is good? Are you special? Yeah. Okay, um... Followers are power, I guess. Power? Well, first you get the followers, then you get the sponsors, then you get the money. How did you get followers? I retweeted Miss Ireland and told her to follow me back, and she did. And oh my god, it made the biggest difference. Like that's I got so many more followers. That's how I got my agent. You got an agent from being online? Hmm. Maybe you can give your agent my headshot, and he could represent me. 
really think he's looking for new clients right now, so. Joseph Kerr, are you ready to wow me? To be I asked any of you what you wanted to aspire to. 
should be? You would tell me someone else. None of you, none of you would tell me that you wanted to be you, the best version of you. No, 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 you'd all say, I want to be like De Niro. I want to be like Meryl Streep. That's what you would all say. And fuck them. Fuck them. Because you know what? When you see their work, all you see is the finished product. You don't see the blood, sweat, and tears that they go through to create that beautiful work. You only see the glory, so fuck that right off, okay? If you have 50 million followers that think you're hashtag fucking awesome, doesn't mean it's art. Being popular doesn't make you talented. And I am not in the business. I'm not here to make stupid people famous. I want the fucking truth. Truth is becoming a rarity. Because the lies we create, they're becoming the reality. It's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. Was I boring you? Am I fucking boring you? You fucking little cunt? No, actually, that was me. I'm really, I'm really sorry. I just, I, I, no, I'm out of line. I'm way out of line because the thing is, I, I just forgot that this is a generation of smartphones and really stupid fucking people. Stupid people with the concentration span of a fucking little fish, you fucking ass. Stand up. Like I says, I was playing with this marionette over by the Coney Island yeah. boardwalk. I found it there, right on the floor. You can't make this shit up. I, I, I love puppets. Right. I love that shit. Don't you love playing with puppets? Huh? I love it. They're like people. Who's this fucking man? Oh, look at this. He shows the pro. 
proper respect. Shake it, man. Yeah, I like that. But what are you doing here, kid? I told you, this is an easy fucking job, huh? You take the stuff, you go to 50th and 6th, then you hand it out. Capiche, it's simple. What do I do when I'm done? When you're done? The fuck? You go home and jerk off. What do I care what you do when you're done? What the hell are you asking me for? Go over there and grab a freaking bag. Go see where you gotta go. The answer is seeking actors and performers. When do I perform? You perform the shit out of it. You hand the stuff out. Can you believe this guy? Look at him. He's a cockamamie shit. He's Frankie Valley him. looking motherfucker. <laughs> Go sing a fucking song while you hand them out. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Go, um, grab a fucking bag. Go see where you gotta go. Come on. Go grab a bag. Do some fucking thing. Look at him go. Look at him go. He just walks, walks away. away. Hey, what? You walks bring in these like fucking, fucking mouth breathers hey, over hey, here. Hey, don't bring this on me. I had nothing to do with him. I'm not the one finding this I fucking challenge. Put the ad out. Behind the garbage. Jesus Christ. Look at this guy. Get lost on a one-way street. I don't think he can fight his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> Mud on. Real clown. Real clown. Treat. Hurry up. The sale for followers ends soon. Hurry up. The sale for followers ends soon. Joseph Kerr. 
remember that. Thank you. Please come again. I gotta pour the fucking coffee too? Cream and sugar on the side. Turn to the right. Okay. Right. Thanks. It says here that you're fluent in French. I actually have a house in Nice. I absolutely love it there. The language is just so incredible. Oh my Food god. And the drink. What? You never invited me. No, it's my husband's family, so oh, I hate that. <laughs> They're not very. How many times have you been to my house in the Korean? No, I know. 
and I loved your house. Yes, you Every did love it. But you they loved do it. not take well to new faces. You know what? Oh, I'll bet. Um, Should we continue? Um, yeah, sure. Can you say something romantic to me? In French. that clip that was a short film i did a few years ago did you check out my makeup look if you want a no makeup makeup look who the fuck is knocking on my door who is it who is me joseph joseph kerr uh yeah uh how do you know where i live Just a slice or a whole pie? A whole pie. Raise it to the people. Oh my God, I can smell it through the door. Oh gosh, you and those cheesy lines. What's cheesy about pizza? I think that we should get naked and eat pizza. graduated with a degree in the guards, which is equivalent to not having a degree at all. Couldn't find a job, drowning in debt, right online that you can actually post videos doing makeup. I did, and people subscribed. How many videos have you made? I film about twice a week, so it comes out to 100 videos a year. For how long? Six years. How many videos can you do about makeup? Well, it's definitely a young broads game, but I mean... If I get pregnant, then I could do videos about, like, baby shit. Because there's, like, a huge market for new moms. So what I should do? Why are you here? What do you mean? Why are you here? Why do you exist? What do you want from life? I want to be... 
be the greatest. Greatest what? Greatest asshole? <laughs> you can't be the greatest if nobody knows who you are. What are you saying? How do you plan on getting there? There's seven billion people on this planet. Seven billion. How many of them are actually famous? How many? A thousand? What kind of odds are that? That's 0.0001%. Are you that special? That unique? That perfect? I don't think so. How do you expect to become the greatest? By following? By being into cheap way to do it, but no. Get a role in a big movie? Say yes. And the movie's crap. Box office bomb. 10 1. I'm not talking about In and Out fame. I'm talking about the 27 Club. 27 Club. John Lennon, Morrison, Hendrix. Mm. How, about, how about Timeless Fame? What's Timeless Fame? Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about the fuck faces? You heard of them, right? Hey, nobody ever not heard of the fuck faces. Okay, so how do you think they got famous? Talking. Controversy, it's that simple. I mean, I can only speak on my behalf, but I'm, I can't say I'm that special to be that famous. What are you saying? I'm saying, what if we did a, we did a sex thing? Porn? No, not porn. It's classier than porn. You know, like a film that celebrates your life. Hmm? I mean, unless you don't want to do it. I can find someone else to do it with. I just think it would be a great opportunity for me, you know? Unless, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, we just did it. It's gonna be on the internet. Everyone comes across it. Like, literally, everyone comes across it. Get it? How? Well, my agent used to produce porn. And he came to me with the idea after I couldn't book any real jobs. It's not that crazy of an idea. I mean, we just did it. Mm -hmm. Except this time, we do it in front of a camera. Who cares what people think? Morality is always negotiable. You want people to be so obsessed with you. You want people to, to, to smell how you smell, eat how you eat, look how you look, dress how you dress, smile like you smile. <laughs> yourself verbally, physically, however you want. As long as it's honest.
back. said hello i spoke to von rich he thinks it's a great idea do you realize that this could broaden our fame and make us a shit ton of money we need to do this asap so what are you doing tomorrow oh uh, yeah tomorrow i'm gonna be pretty busy you know i have a meeting with netflix in the morning so sorry <laughs> okay joseph listen to me the publicity for this is going to be huge and the timing is just right because of your cutie movie we need to do this before that starts. I need you to meet me at my agent's studio. Remember what I said? Do you want to be the greatest or not? This is the stepping stone that you need. You don't have to thank me yet. Just bring me some flowers. Salesman. What, what is that boy's name? Mm, you, you, you. Oh, I know you hear me. We oui. get him a suit, a real suit, one from my collection. This whole look can't work. Like hell. Don't be shy, let it out. We'll write a match. No, it's Don't just... hold it in. That shit is key. Never hold in the fire. Just I don't really get nervous. I just what are people gonna think? What are, what are people gonna think? What are they gonna think? They're gonna think like, oh look, she she made something of herself. Look how many people adore her. Celebrate her. How much money she got? You know, she has her own talk show. She has her own this, she has her own that. That's what they're gonna think. What if, what if I wear a mask? I, I can, I can like be the bang ski of sex tapes. <laughs> no, honey, um, they got to see your money makers. Is that for me? <laughs> so, how rated X are we gonna go with this? Remember how saturated the market is. We're gonna make a splash. We're gonna have to be willing to go all the way with it. Well, what'd you have in mind? We're gonna set up an act. Two moderately attractive people with social fame. But we got to make sure the content is banging. I mean, we literally see fucking hot. I mean, something that'll make the jacks go crazy. Oh, maybe some dominatrix shit. Uh, some pagan. Uh, maybe a little urine. What the fuck? Well, how about 
How many views will someone like that get? Stop being so dramatic. Maybe you want to stay a little later and, uh, you know, try to approach the, the world record for gang banners. Banners, you know, they doing that right across the hall. What's the record? Black Jamaica. 921 penetrations. That's a lot of dicks. Huh, you telling me? Is she famous? Of course she's famous. Worldwide. Well, she can't walk right anymore, but she's a chap. Would you... Consider ever doing something like that? You fucking tried stuffing a thousand limp dicks into your fucking ass, not my fucking pussy. And yeah, we can do that. Uh, no. I, okay, no. I, I think I'm not. I just, I can't do this. I just, I need to. Yeah, sure. But, time is clicking. Time is money. Money is money. So on, so on. Champion? <laughs> just shut the fuck up. I'm just suggesting. Just shut the fuck up. Think about it. Who would ever challenge you? You'd be famous forever. What the I don't know what I was thinking. Who am I? Like, who am I? What the fuck am I doing? I'm better than this. It's like you said, there's seven billion people on the planet. Are we really that special to be famous? I know what I said, Joseph. Listen, just, just relax. Let's go back in there and do this thing. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not doing the sex tape. What are you talking about? listening you convinced me to be here think about the benefits it's like you said that's what we did before just this time it's front of a camera don't you get it I, this is not me this is not me i've been living in a constant cycle of bullshit this whole time my purpose on this planet if I do this I lose every part of myself I'll just be a nothing like a fucking nothing just another pair of tits online Man, you don't you don't have to do this if you don't want to I don't need your permission just go. What? I'm done with you. Fuck off. What do you mean? I'm done with you. Just leave. You shouldn't say things like that to me. I'll say whatever I want. No, you shouldn't say things like that to me. I'm bored of you. You're a fucking pussy. What kind of man are you anyway? How, how did your selfie come out? So pretty, I just was wondering. How come you don't have any pictures of me on your profile? How come? Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture together, okay? Send it to you. You're not 
What's the idea? I don't know. What do you mean? She left. Are you fucking kidding me? What's this? It's my headshot. Don't do that. Don't do what? The thing that all actors do. I wanted to ask you about that movie that you're producing. What about it? Is there a part for me? No. Hey, we're all local hires. Uh, we're shooting in Cancun, Canada. I looked up your work and you seem to use the same actors. Where's the risk? The risk? The risk is that black boy you and your girlfriend. I'm wasting my time, you fucking ingrate. <laughs> I can see why you don't want any awards. <laughs> Who said I want any awards? Everybody wants to win awards. Everybody wants to be respected and recognized. I only care about two things, my time, my money, and you wasted both of it. I just wanted to say So 
I think I'd remember that. You remember the skinny guy with the bald head and the speech impediment and the funny ears? What? No, I don't remember any bald guys. All right, all right, all right, relax. Give me a week, I'll get you money, all right? Well, why do you have paper on the windows? I needed it to be darker to work. I needed it to be concentrated. Now, I need my money. All right. I don't care. I don't fucking care now. Huh? Are you gonna give me the money? I need five hundred dollars. You gonna give me five hundred dollars? I I don't lend money to friends. We're not friends. We're not. Super excited about tonight. This restaurant I'm taking you to is very, very nice. Yeah. I know we haven't gone out in a while, and that's really my fault. That's but true. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna make it up to you tonight, babe. I really do. Babe, babe, I'm gonna let you finish, but there's something I gotta tell you. So you know about the night, right? Well, he came through the window and went underneath the sheets, and I didn't want to tell you, but he started tickling my toes. Wait, who the fuck is tickling your toes? And I was like, uh-uh-uh, ain't nobody gonna be tickling my toes but my man. Tom, who the fuck is tickling your toes? I'm sorry, okay? Don't make me say his name. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Is that why he called at 3 o'clock in the morning? I knew that was a medical condition. No, he has insomnia. Why the fuck is he calling you at 3 o'clock in the goddamn morning, Tom? Insomnia is the leading cause of strokes. Look it up, Steve. Pick up a book. I read up something. Shit. I'm picking up shit. The next time he calls you at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. You understand? Oh, my God. Honey, do you have any change? No. This poor, poor man, he's sick, he's broke, and he is deaf. I'm gonna just give him a dollar for his card. This poor, poor man, look. Hair on point, eyebrows on fleek. Look at him. Outfit Jesus like he's not homeless. Stop it. He's very, very sick. Just give him whatever you have. Look, you feel so bad, you give him your money, okay? Um, I only carry credit cards. You think he'll take that? Yeah, and he's gonna swipe his ass with it. That's what he's gonna do. Maybe look it up, Steve. Homeless people in Sweden carry credit card readers all the time. Hello? Because nobody carries cash anymore. Excuse me, sir. Do you take credit card? He's deaf, remember? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. Uh, look, I'm sorry. Look, Captain Obvious, it's a scam, okay? They're called mole people. Can we follow them? You don't around? look like no mole. It's a scam, Tom, okay? Yeah, you know it all. I do. I ain't giving a shit. It. Have a heart. This man is sick. All he needs is some money. Stop acting like money. I get it. He does it, Tom. Come on, it's paper. Hello? What the fuck? Tom, if you give him anything above a dollar, I want to seriously be upset. Stop acting like you don't have money to cut that bed. There you go, sir. Oh, you just gonna take it off? Don't you feel good about yourself now? Take your wallet back. Oh. <laughs> you made it happen. It's okay, sir. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> I got powers, but I can't use 
use my powers for bad, I was like, I gotta wear a motherfucking mask like Darth Vader, you know, and wear a fucking mask. I don't think that shit's gonna fly too good in the city, you know what I'm saying? But I got these powers. Why the fuck am I gonna waste my powers against this fucking clown Jimmy, Jose, Ra Ra? I can't take the risk to lose my powers, man, because I do bad against them. But yo, here's the thing. If you and me, if we was to go out with just friends, and somebody tried to mess with you, somebody tried to do you harm, you better believe I'd use all my Jedi powers against them. Even if they took my ass to jail, fuck it, man. I'd, I'd give you money first so you could go eat shrimps, okay? Bravo, it was great, great work.
And I want you to come back next week for the showcase. Yeah? And trust me. Trust me. I really think for you it's going to be worth it. Bravo, Mr. Kirk. Happy anniversary, baby. So what'd you think? Are you kidding me? $300 a plate for that? And a bummy tuna tartare salad? I mean, the main course was two scallops. Well, my far quar was divine. <laughs> it's far quar. <laughs> no, like Lord Farquhar. It's far quar. Far quar. You have to have a little umph if we're eating at these restaurants, darling. Far quar. Far quar. <laughs>
your girl Barbara G, and I'm proudly here to announce the newest Hollywood trend is in. Lucky for me, I've been on the ball since day one. You guessed it. Gap tease, motherfuckers. What was once considered undesirable is now the it thing rich bitches are currently trying to cosmetically alter. Now, I'd like to say I paved the way for this sensation, but I gotta give props to those gents and dames before me. I'm talking about Elle Fish, Kate Moss, Woody H, and E. Wood. And my personal favorite, Uzo Adu. What are you waiting for? The days that break you, the days that break you. Patients conquers destiny, and today is the day that we've all been working towards. I have invited an industry professional, my friend QT, an award-winning director, writer, producer, who is casting his latest film, is going to view your work. So, let the games begin. Remember, whatever happens, happens. But hey, Gino, I got two years left. <clears throat> uh, 14 months and 10 to go. Oh, I also done some bad shit, right? It's all a misunderstanding. Uh, two years for a misunderstanding? <laughs> what are you in for? I stole a car stereo. I had to pay off a gambling debt in Vegas. The cops chased me all the way through Barstow, crossing state lines to say a federal offense, my friend. You a thrill seeker? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was a teen, I used to run a chop shop, me tagging cars to Russia before I got into the market. Now I get paid to steal. I, uh, I once knocked over this check cashing shop in Queens. Uh, me and these guys, we uh, dress as cops, as black cops. We had all this movie magic makeup and I put on these uh, Mission Impossible masks. We're in and out without a single shot fired. Yeah, but you got caught, right? Hey. We were in the same cell, you and I. I mean, same. I studied in school, you fell the streets. I'm groomed for success. You're a byproduct of poverty. Yeah, I, I heard that uh, you absconded with um, uh, 18 or what was it, uh, 19 million dollars from some charity, some fucking uh, uh, kitty cancer charity. Is that, is that right? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you don't know what I'm talking about? You ain't no fucking gangster, man. You, 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 you fucking play and pretend to me. Look at you. You lie about who you are because you can't fucking deal with it. Pussies lie. Because they ain't got the balls to be real with who they are and show the fucking world. The real you, the real you is ugly and scared. That's the reason you're in here, man. You don't know me. I know you. I know you. I fucking know you better than you know yourself. You're the, you're the fucking, you're the, the kind of guy who gets tossed around like a fucking bucket of fried chicken in here. Everybody fuck gets a you, piece. Man. Fuck me. Yeah, fuck you. Know, you. You're not my fucking type. Yeah, shut the fuck up. 
Denial! It's not a pretty look for you. Fuck you. Ten fucking years. Ten fucking years I've been here. Seconds feel like hours. Hours feel like days. Feel like months. Feel like a fucking eternity. Ten years. I've been in prison my whole fucking life. <laughs> oh, boo. Fuckity ho. My life is a prison. You got no fucking clue, man. I have no idea who I am. I, I, I've given myself over to people who say, come here, fly over here, sit here, eat this, look at the camera, and fucking smile. I'm the fucking toy that the kids got bored of and threw the fuck away. And that was, that was success. I rose to the fucking top with that. The fall from up there, man, is harder than you can fucking imagine. Because I had nothing. Afterwards, I had nothing. Half of my friends, my childhood friends, are dead. From natural causes, unnatural causes, there's no fucking difference, really. I made a career. Fucking a career. I mean, most of my life was just living out other people's fantasies. And I never, never, never once knew who I was. So don't tell me I know who you are. I know who you fucking are. <laughs> I know who you are better than I know myself. What's more, what's more tragic than that? Self-understanding is a path to my glory. It's nothing more, nothing less. tragically cut short by one of the most bizarre drug overdoses as far as I'm concerned. All of us here consider this a great loss to the entertainment industry. Although Johnny's death was ruled a suicide, investigators have reopened his case as new evidence suggests possible foul play. Tune in for more details. Hi, I'm Harley Gonzalez, and today we're with Joseph Kirk, the big star of Dante's Inferno. I'm an admirer of your work. Hi, same here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thanks, let's get started, okay? All right. When you look back in your life, what did you reflect on? I don't look back. Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit about the film. What was it like filming it? I haven't had the chance to see it. Please tell us a little bit about it. It's a movie. said that I wanted to be the greatest actor. Magnum. 
still a cheap. Those are some pretty big shoes to fill. Well, I got some pretty big feet to fill. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, one of your quotes you said something But about I take each day as they come. of it, just like QT does. I know it's just you and I, but guess what? We're making a movie. And yes, the universe has a plan. As long as it goes.
said that. No, you have to I always said that. Oh. What? No, I missed it. What happened? You missed that chat. Oh. Summerfield again correcting me the night that Johnny overdosed. It's a Greek tragedy. Superstar smile right there. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, that's nice, chat. That's it's nice. Really I nice. that one. Look at that yeah, one. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have some really nice hair, I must say. You know what I mean? It's like a salon type chick, right? Right? It's almost uh, like Johnny's in some way. We're the same way. Yeah, so, Ha, ha, ha.